functions of warehousing the functions of warehousing are discussed as follows consolidation in this function of warehouse receives and consolidates materials goods from different production plants from different production plants they are receiving goods or products and dispatches the same to a particular customer on a single transportation system and it is dispatched to the particular customers in single transportation system this picture eliminate complexities of learning this consolidation look at this a b c are different production plants from there they are receiving the product at the same time they are sending to the particular customer for customer a customer b customer c in single transportation system uh, you could see that flipkart and amazon's process if you order any product if that product is available in north india that uh, product will comes to chennai in chennai they will have a godown from there in a single transportation system specially for us they will transport the product from various customers from various manufacturers from various production units they are receiving the products as per our order they are scrutinizing then for a special customer for each and every single customers they are sending the products break the bulk the warehouse performs the functions of dividing the bulk quantity of goods received from the production plants into smaller quantities these smaller quantities are then transportation according to the requirements of clients to their places of business look at this picture plant a from plant a they are receiving bulk bulk product which means a bundle of product or bunch of product from plant a actually the warehouse is receiving the bulk product from the plant a here warehouse is received bulk product from plant a and they are dividing they are dividing in smaller quantities then as per the customer's requirement customer's requirement that product will send to customer a or b or c so as per their requirement the goods will be sent by the godown to the uh, customer and next one is stock filling the next function of warehousing is the seasonal storage of goods to select businesses goods or raw materials which are not required immediately for sale or manufacturing are stored in a warehouse they are made available business depending on customers demand agricultural products which are harvested at specific times with subsequent consumption throughout the year also need to be stored and released in filling goods or raw material which is not immediately required for an organization that will be stored in a godown so when it is needed that time that stored product will be given by the godown manager to the organization it is available that time they are storing all the products and when it is needed when demands are there that time they are releasing the products so this is the main process for stock filling agricultural production unit all the 365 days we cannot harvest for a time period only we can harvest the products then after harvest it will be stored in a godown and throughout the year consumption will be there so uh, like our concern depends upon our consumption that uh, stored product will be distributed to the cons consumer and godowns are providing value added services certain value added services are also provided by the warehouses such as in transit mixing packaging and labeling goods sometimes need to be opened and repacked and labeled again at the time of inspection by prospective buyers grading according to quantity and dividing goods in smaller in smaller lots is another function actually this value added services also providing by warehousing so how they are providing this value added services one is packing and transit mixing and next one packing and they are labeling the product already packed product will be opened and repack the product then relabel the product when the prospective buyers are coming and inspecting the product the time to cheat, cheat them it will do the business organization will do to cheat the prospective buyers they will open the product and they will relabel that and the grading according to the quantity and the dividing goods in smaller lots in another function so dividing the goods in smaller then they are sending for price stabilization by adjusting the supply of goods with the demand situation warehousing performs the functions of stabilizing prices this price are controlled 
when supply is increasing and demand is slack and vice versa when demand of the product in the market is very high the stored product from warehouse is very much helpful to equalize the demand and supply because of because of the demand the price range also will be very high so it is equalizing the demand and supply at the same time the price are controlled then after control the price when the supply is increasing and the demand is slack and vice versa if supply is increased demand is decreased means the product will be stored in a mall the product will be stored in a warehouse then when demand is arising that time we will use the product anyway the better the best magic of the market is demand and supply should be equal this warehouse plays vital role to equalize the price range demand and supply financing warehouse owners advance money to the owners on security of goods and further supply goods on credit terms to customers usually the warehouse keeper will generate receipt while storing the product into the warehouse the products head products owner should pay the amount what amount is mentioned as charge in warehouse receipt that should be paid by the products owner for an example it is the warehouse in this warehouse warehouse manager will be there so product owners or want to keep their product in warehouse that to highly safety and security they are expecting from warehouse keeper so they are providing safety and security for their product so instantly after store their product into the warehouse this warehouse keeper or warehouse manager is generating a bill called warehouse receipt here they fails to give very clearly i will tell you it is warehouse receipt warehouse receipt what charge is mentioned in warehouse receipt that should be paid by the products owner products owner one who store the product into the warehouse if this product owner couldn't pay the money instantly or in advance to the warehouse keeper they are offering credit facility for the product also because in this situation this product head is the customer for this warehouse keeper or warehouse manager 